Hi everyone, so this week in music we're going to be carrying on with our Chinese New Year celebrations. Now I'm using two drumsticks for this, uh, or if you don't have two drumsticks, you could use two pencils, uh, or two rulers, or even two kitchen utensils, but just ask a grown-up before you get those. So this week we're going to be looking at rhythms, and we're going to do something that's quite tricky, which is a little bit like doing this. Can any of you do that, where you pat your head and go round and round on your tummy. It's really tricky to do. And that's why music's so good for your brain, because it gets both sides of your brain working together really, really well. So we're going to be doing some of those things today, but with our sticks. So the first thing we're going to do is a really simple rhythm, and it's just four crotchets, as you can see on the screen next to me. So here we go, just on one leg or the ground. One, two, three, four. Join in when you can. One, two, three, Four. One, two, three. Four. One, two, three, four. Now, how does Mrs. Walker eat her quavers? Very quickly. Well done, those of you who remembered. So we're going to, for every crotchet beat, for every one beat note, crotchet beat note, we're going to fit two quavers. So just have a listen. So the sticks are going down together, but then this quaver stick is going to fit in another quaver because it's quick. So you can fit two quavers in a crotchet beat. That means quavers are half a beat long. Here we go. One, two, three, four. One and two and three and four. Join in with me. Don't worry if it takes some time. Try your best. Well done. Now don't forget that this, you can practice this all week. I'm not expecting you to be able to, to, be able to do it straight away. So, when you have decided to go on with this video, you might want to go back and just practice that little bit. That's something you can even do with your hands, isn't it? We're now going to go on to the next bit. Now you're comfortable and confident with that. So we're going to be only playing our crotchets on our first and third beat. One, rest, three, rest. One, two, three, four. One, three, four. But our quaver beats are still going the whole way through. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Join in when you can. Two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Good, now that is tricky. So if you want to pause the video and just do that in your own time, that's absolutely fine to do that. So we've got three rhythms so far. We've covered our crotchet rhythm. We've covered our quaver rhythm. And we've covered our quaver rhythm with our first and third beat crotchets. So we're going to use those rhythms now for our gong shi song. And you're going to follow me. I'll explain every rhythm change that we do. Here we go. Just the four cro crotchets for now. Ready? And one, two, three, four. One, two, three. Keep going with that. One, two. We're going to bring in the quaver beats now. Keep that going for crotchets. Quaver, quaver, quaver. Now just take it to the first and third beat. One, rest, three, rest. One, bring in the quavers now. One, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Good, well done, that was really tricky. 
and your brain will be going just like the Chinese uh, fireworks because it really is fantastic for your brain to be doing things like that. That's nothing to stop you now taking this further and doing some really exciting rhythms. As long as if they're rhythms that you can keep repeating, then they are going to be fabulous and I can't wait to see your videos showing me what you get up to. So have a great week with your percussion and I look forward to seeing you next week. Bye for now.